It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and it's that time of year again where we have a beer advent calendar to show you. Super excited for this one though this year uh, because it's from North Brewing Company. Uh, this is the first time that I've had a brewery specific beer advent calendar so I don't really know what to expect. The previous years of beer advent calendars have been from kind of beer companies where they, I had a German selection box one year where I was pulling beers from from all over Germany from each from each door. Uh, so this one's going to be kind of a like brewery specific but still North Brewing Company absolutely fantastic beers that they produce. So let's get the first door open. It's November the 30th so I'm doing this one day before. Here we go then. Door number one. Oh. Ah, oh, 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 oh. what a start. What a start. This is called Ultraphase. And this is a double IPA, 8.4% ABV. This is the beauty of these advent calendars. I've got no idea what's coming. I've given myself a selection of glassware so I can kind of try and hedge my bets a little bit. Uh, I think the only point where I would have come unstuck today is if we had a lager because I've mainly got ale glasses here. But I have an IPA glass, so we are going to use that. Let's go then. Some of the beers you will see that I've already reviewed uh, on the channel. But we'll go again. It's Christmas time. I'm pretty sure that other people have ordered this beer advent calendar and they want to have a drink along with me. A very popular thing on YouTube these days is to pour a beer together and have a drink along. It's exactly what we're doing here today. So, we've got a three finger white head, good levels of slow moving carbonation, and it's a nice hazy looking beer. Let's get the aroma on this. I'd say it's amber in colour as well, lighter amber colour. Let's get the aroma then. Oh yeah, super. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, all of those wonderful. Typical double IPA aromas. A little bit of sweetness in there. That sweetness coming from the malt. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Oh. Creamy, milky, like mouthfeel. Creamy, rich, almost lactosey, milky type of mouthfeel here. Full of flavour though. Stone the crows, full of flavour. Really good. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, all of those wonderful flavours you come to expect from a double IPA. I've rolled my sleeves up out here, it's absolutely freezing, it's, <laughs> it's 12 degrees out here. Brrr. We've had a cold snap, haven't we? It's the 30th of November 2023. I've woken up this morning, ice all over the car. Hmm. 
Look how warm you up. An 8.4% ABV double IPA. Fantastic. I like the mouthfeel. I think that every company, every brewing company, of course, all of these, some of these styles are like if you were talking a hundred years ago, if you were talking about, I mean, I'm, it might be oats, it might be a little bit of lactose in this beer, but these beer styles didn't exist. You would have had an oat stout, you would have had like an oatmeal stout a hundred years ago, definitely. But you would never have had like a, a, a double IPA, 8.4% ABV, brewed with loads of oats in it. That beer style simply didn't exist. So I think what we're seeing here is the breweries that are kind of like pushing the boundaries of beer styles, inventing these oaty, creamy, rich double IPAs. I think as they're kind of inventing them and they're pushing them out, they're fine tuning them, they're tweaking them. Um, I feel that this beer has got better since I last tried it. I feel that they, they're just still slightly kind of playing with the recipe, tweaking the recipe a little bit to improve it. It's fantastic, it really is. Fantastic mouthfeel. Have a look at the beer as I wash it round in the glass. Looks really good. Look at that. Great lacing, great head retention, great carbonation. Not much in the way of sediment in the bottom of the glass, but it, it's definitely unfiltered. Great aroma, great taste. Oh, really good. Really, really good beer. Let's have a little read then on the back of this can. A luscious double IPA made with USA and Australian hops, saturated in honeydew, melon, green grape and pink grapefruit flavour with a lasting citrus finish. So... It is water, barley, wheat, oats, hops, and of course yeast. So there is no lactose in the beer. It, it is done with oats. Um, yeah, I feel, I have had this, I can't quite remember. Um, I can't remember if I bought this beer previously in a bottle shop, or maybe it was sent to me by North Brewing Company, or maybe this is one of the supermarket cans of craft beer from North. I can't quite remember, to be honest with you. I don't think it is supermarket beer, this one. I think it is kind of maybe North's online bottle shop for release for this one or to order it. So that's, that's door number one done then. We'll be back on the second for door number two. Make sure to have a look at the video. I like it. I like that. Warming my cockles up. That is in this in this frost on the roof today, on the glass roof. Um, I like that enough to give it, I'm going to say an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Relail Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.